Hey, good evening, Greg. So both were straightforward with the direction they want to see the state go in, but both also believe their opponent represents the extreme wing of their party. My opponent uh, is a very extreme left wing Democrat. I think he's about as extreme as we can possibly get uh, for an elected official. With only one day left before Election Day, Republican John Fleming and Democrat Dustin Granger are leaving it all on the table. Fleming, who received former President Donald Trump's endorsement earlier today and served with him at the White House, says Granger's policies will be a continuation of Bidenomics and continue to drive more people away. Louisiana is losing population, losing jobs, losing companies, and it's because it's, quite frankly, using Bidenomics under John Bell Edwards. The financial advisor, who has the endorsement of John Bell Edwards, embraces the left-wing label and says Fleming's idea of a competitive economy will only result in more money going to the rich. He is for supply-side uh, economics, which is the same as trickle-down economics. That just means giving more benefits and tax cuts to the wealthiest people and big corporations. Fleming also notes that our state will perhaps have the most conservative legislature of our lifetime and a new Republican governor, and that a liberal treasurer would only stunt innovation and efforts to make the state competitive. And so you're gonna have continued inertia, lack of momentum, lack of move forward. What we really need is everybody working together as a solid team. This is nonsense because it's really a, a bunch of people left over from the Bobby Jindal era trying to complete uh, what Bobby Jindal wanted to do. Despite having a comfortable lead in the polls, Fleming says he's not letting up. I always campaign like I'm in last place. That's the successful way to achieve success. And Granger, even with low turnout, says that he's hopeful he'll be able to scoop up leftover voters who supported Republican Scott McKnight in the primary. Absolutely, because there's a lot of people in the middle. I think uh, most of that uh, of Scott McKnight's vote are a lot of people in the middle, and I think we make the best case for them. So the polls open bright and early at 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Greg? All right, Chris, thank you. Let me